Welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to talk about multiplication of sine numbers. So here are our examples. Negative 4 times negative 5 is equal to positive 20. Positive 5 times negative 2 is equal to negative 10. And negative 8 times positive 3 is equal to 24. Okay, there are our examples. Now let's stop and go look at our rules. Okay, here are the rules of multiplication. When you have a negative times a negative, you're going to get a positive. The way I think about that is two negatives always come in pairs. So if you have two negatives, they pair up and become a positive. So if you have a negative times a positive, that negative doesn't have a pair. Therefore, the answer is negative. So they're always coming in pairs. Positive times a negative is a negative and two positive, positive times positive is equal to a positive. So always think of negatives as coming in pairs. So if you have a negative, it has to either multiply by another negative to be a positive, or if it doesn't have a pair, then the answer must be negative, okay? So let's go back and look at our three examples again, and then we're gonna try a challenge problem. Okay, the rules are a negative times a negative is equal to a positive, They've paired up and become positive. So it's four times five is just 20. Positive times a negative, we need a pair. So the answer's got to be negative, And then you multiply five times two. Negative times a positive, it doesn't have a pair. So the answer must be negative. Three times eight is 24. Okay, so let's look at the challenge problem now. Okay, let's look at how they're going to pair up. I have a negative 1 times a negative 1 times a negative 1 times a negative 1. Well, if I pair my negatives up, these two ones are going to pair up and become positive. These two ones are going to pair up and be going to be positive. So the answer is just a positive times a positive, which is a positive. So 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, don't be fooled, that is 1. So the answer to that challenge problem is positive one. Hope this was helpful.